Hi, welcome to this new tutorial I'm gonna show you how to make 3D solids in AutoCAD, with basic tools, and in a very fast way. In this case we are going to make this element that we have here on the screen. I am going to expand it. It is basically a platform with four holes, and with this detail here. Then this here, are the diameters and we are going to start making this solid. Then I am going here. First I am going to put this in a place that does not bother me. And we are going to generate a new drawing. In this case I am going to use a basic template, ISO 3D. I recommend that you use this template because it is already pre-configured to draw in 3D. Okay if we are here. I am going to pan here. Have it to one side and then this is configured now to work in a 2D space. So I'm going here. I'm going to activate the workspace switching. This appears here. And I'm going to work in 3D, to get all the 3D tools available. Right. Then that's it. Now I'm going to start to draw. First the base with lines. Then this measurement. This width is 80. I will need to use ortho or use polar tracking. Let's first start with polar tracking. Here it is. Then I hope that I get the radius. Digit 80. I'm going to come over to work. A better visual form than now. I hope the beam comes out. And I digit 120 and I'm going this way. 180 and press enter to close although they are lines but it still obeys the command when I am working continuously now I'm going to draw the holes there are four circles of diameter 10 these are far apart let's see this is 80 50 the difference is 30 then 15, 15, then we make an offset of 15 here, 15 are placed here. And let's see, this is 120. 90. 30 is also 15. So 15 here. 15 here. Note that I am locating the centers of the circles. So we are going to go with the circles of diameter 10, over here. Then radius 5. I'm going to copy it. To make it faster. I copy. Well before continuing I am going to work better in parallel, so that there are no problems with the capture of points. Then, above the orientation cube. I right click it and I am going to work in parallel, because of the commands better executed, and especially the capture of points. So now I am going to remove these guides. I am going to work at this moment with a gizmo with the same one. Then I am going to deactivate it, and I no longer get the possibility to move or rotate from the gizmo. So now I'm going to put these together, in order to do a press pull. I'm going to put them together, as follows. I go here to joint, and I select these four. Right. It's ready. Then now I am going to do a press pull. Press pull tool. And I wait that all the contours are activated. Then click, and I go with the elevation. How much elevation? 15. Digit 15, so I already have the platform drawn. 
Now I'm going to draw at the bottom, this groove that is at the bottom. Then what I do, but I'm going to a view, I click here, there is an x-ray view. So here I am going to see in a cleaner way the configuration of the solid. Now I am going to make a cube. I am going to draw in the lower part. So if I want, I can do it outside, and then introduce it. I think it is the better way, let's do it like this. From the front, with a polyline. Then, I wait for the ray. Digit 60. Is 80. 60. And press C key, I press enter, that's it. Now I'm going to apply extrusion to this, you can give the elevation of 5, as indicated here in the graph. 5, and now I'm going to move this solid inside, there it is, in the central part, and the next thing I'm going to do is subtract the solids, so that I have the top. So to gradually work on this drawing, I am going to graph this part below. Select this solid, hit enter, and select the one below, if I have trouble selecting. I'm going here. Because it is not in this tool panel. Selected this function here, selection cycling, and I go for this solid, I press enter, and voila, it is subtracted, it is a single solid, the rest are the polylines that we have used to work. So I have already done this part below. Now I'm going to do is the top part. And so for this I am going to graph a line in this part. Using the center here. And the center from here. Now I need a line at 30, correct. So I'm going to draw here. 30. And I'm going this way. I'm going to turn on perpendicular. I'm going here, that's it, so I already have this part here. But maybe I need to rotate the graph a little. Don't forget that you can use the shift key and press the center button of the mouse, and you can rotate a little. So I think the location of this center is clearer. I'm going to draw this top piece separately. So how do I see that it is a solid, that it is practically in an area that is extruded towards the x-axis? Then I'm going to work with this part is. As if this were an x, y from the y, z. So what I'm going to do is go to this right part. As you can see, it's this part where I want to draw. So I come here, change from UCS, I go to the right. Then, as you can see, the x-axis, and it has been placed where I wanted, and I am going to draw this part here, the first thing is this part. What it measures from here? It would be 60, correct. Then I go to draw 60. And now up. We are going to place the following dimension on it. We are going to place the height from here. As you can see, it goes to the limit of the circle, or to the quadrant of the circle, so I am going to type 60, and now I come this way, I have started from here, correct. I have started from this part of here. Then it is the radius plus half of this measurement. The radius is 35 plus 5 is 40. 40 and I close, I press C, enter. I have done it with lines, with joint tool I am going to join it. But first I wanted to make this semicircle, correct, to avoid subtracting after and do another step. So, I'm over here, so I'm going to go down or I'm going to advance 5. Right. 5. I am going to do a help measurement anywhere. So here I am going to draw the circle, correct. Then the diameter circle is 70, half, which would be the radius, 35. There it is, 
it had to coincide with this part. So here I use Bali tool, remember this command, to be able to close the contour, to be able to create a contour based on the limits that generate a polygon. I just click here and enter. Here it is. Then I delete the rest. Right. I already have this part here, and I'm going to extrude it, enter. And I enter the measure 10, correct, I already have this part here. Now I'm going to do the same. This part here, the height is 10. Correct. The width and the height. Let's see. It's 60, less. We are going to put it with this diameter, so it would be minus 25. 60 minus 25. 35. Then we are going to draw. But we are going to do it pasted here, and then we move it. Right. 1035, 10, and I close this piece. Then I'm going to extrude it. Press Enter. I give it the width 60. Very well. Now I'm going to do it this way, it doesn't matter. I'm going to move it from its midpoint to the other midpoint of this face. Right. And that's it. Take care that I do it I included this measurement, so I'm going to move it from this midpoint to here. Right. Let's see how it looks. I press shift and we rotate. Very well. We continue. I'm going to rotate a little around here. And we're going to make these circles now. Which is like a kind of cylinder. Now we draw this circle of diameter 70. Sorry, first we are going to draw this small circle of diameter 50. Then we make a circle. I am going to do it temporarily from here. We are going to give it the diameter 25. Right. Remember that this height we use with this circle. Then from this quadrant. I am going here. Correct. I am going to make another concentric. That's it. Concentric and with radius 35, which is the diameter, what I'm going to make it aside. I'm going to move it. Right. I move it here and do press pull. Let's see what happens, probably these different heights. Let's put them on the floor. I'll take it from here. Let's put them on the floor. We will make press pull. And voila. We will give a measure of 60. Shift. And here it is. And now I'm going to move it in 3D. From here to the midpoint of here. Right. That's it. Let's see how it looks. I press shift, and we are going to rotate this. So, it is fitting very well. I am going to join these solids, with this command here, which is to join solids. I select it this way, hit enter, and that's it, like a solid. I'm going to move it so that the aid figures are left behind. Right. Shift and I move it. I'm going to put it in a realistic view. Let's see if everything is fine, the inner circle is fine. Then this piece is ready. I'm going to make a line here to be able to move it. A cross line and now this solid. I'm going to move it from here, to the middle of this line that I drew, 
to this part of here. I press shift to rotate, and we move it here to this line. Let's put intersection, shift. Right click, intersection. Here it is, ready, the figure is finished. I'm going to remove these elements or lines that I use as guides. Right. That's it. We are going to make here a view of what we have drawn, correct? The solid is complete. Well friends that would be all, if you liked it, click on like. You can also share the video with your friends or colleagues. Subscribe to my YouTube channel to receive more videos. I invite you to enter my social networks where you can find more tutorials, tips and tricks of AutoCAD. You can access social networks through the icons found in the video, or you will also find the links in the descriptive part of the video. And well that would be all have a very good day. Until next time.